Well, the main purpose was to be able to serve Christian organizations with uh, some of the background that we felt was missing from secular advertising agencies. That is, understanding what the stations were, and what type of programming they were doing. So our whole thrust was to try to assist Christian ministries with an agency that had a Christian concept and foundation. They were difficult because there was competition, growing competition, and in those days, there weren't so-called Christian radio stations such as we have today. The stations were operated with specific programming, uh, much the same as it would have been probably 40 or 50 years ago, and uh, Christian stations really didn't come on the market until much later. Well, we've been very privileged to serve some wonderful men and women of God. I think primarily of our pastor, Chuck Swindoll. He was the one that really opened the floodgates for us to be able to see the agency develop fully. And then, of course, uh, Dr. James Dobson and the relationship that we enjoyed with him and so many others down through the years. It's been a great privilege, I can assure you. Well, actually, it began by Cypress Gardens, Florida, where we were producing Day of Discovery, and we saw that they were dipping strawberries in candy, and uh, strawberries weren't available all year round, so we thought, well, why not try something else? Let's find something salty. And so salted peanuts was the way it all began. Yes, my favorite time was the privilege of working with Radio Bible Class in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and producing as well as hosting Day of Discovery from Cypress Gardens, Florida. Richard DeHaan was the greatest boss. I'm looking forward to seeing him and his dad when we get to glory before too long. Well, the first uh, instrument we worked with was a wire recorder, and to try to make edits on a wire recorder was not very easy. We had to make actually knots in the wire. But since then, so many things have developed it goes so fast that uh, who knows what's going to be next. I'm just glad that we can be on the cutting edge. No, when we started, we simply hoped to help the Bible Institute of Los Angeles, which of course is Biola, and then later some of the other organizations that were kind enough to come along with us. We had no idea that it would develop to the stage that it has today. And we're looking forward to the future, even though there are a lot of question marks about the economy.